Hey garden friends. Today I'm going to pot up this container that has some Dutch irises in it that did not bloom, but the soil lines way down here. So I'm going to top it up with a little more soil and I'm going to plant out these petunias that I had. I got a six pack of these at the garden center. These are uh, salmon color. They are a wave petunia. You know how I just love wave petunias. And then I'm gonna plant, can you see that? Yes, you can. Some Creeping Jenny in there with it. But because Creeping Jenny can be quite aggressive, I'm gonna put it first into a little terracotta pot to put down in here. And that will contain it and keep it from overrunning anything else. And, and it has a little mesh. This thing was filled with ants when I picked it up out of the back garden. I was gonna do another planter. Um, but I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with the daffodils that were in it. So let me show you that. So this is that one that I was going to do. And it had the lobelia that I planted with the daffodils. The daffodils are spent. They're completely spent. And so I was going to cut them back and then plant the petunias in here with it. And then I thought, you know, that's going to be a really fiddly. Maybe I should just put these out in my rose alley along the path so I could enjoy them next spring out there. And these are the most sweetly scented things you can ever smell. And then I was thinking I would go ahead and pull this lobelia out and put down into the shadier, well, part shade, uh, a part of the secret cottage garden because it will just continue on through the summer if I do that. And then I can plant something else here. This was, is here on my deck, this container. Um, right where I can see it from the dining room. And I enjoy being able to sit down and eat breakfast, dinner, whatever, and see that. Though we're outside here in the summer when it's warm enough. I think I got an ant on my eyelid. Anyway, so that had been the original plan. And then when I thought, oh, what am I going to do with those daffodils? Do I want to leave them in there? Do I want to take them out? Do I want to try different daffodils next year? Um, so I couldn't decide. So I decided I'll just plant up this one is similar in size. I'll replace, I'll put it where this one was back there by the door and then we'll go from there. And then if I get these out into the Rose Alley garden, then great. So let's put that down again and we'll get going. I'm working around all these little stinky ants <laughs> because um, I did wash it off a little bit, but they're still coming out. It, they must be in the soil and that's okay. I'll use my new Saturday lime and that will um, get them out of there and away. Now it needs some more soil. So I went and got some soil. Whoops. To do this. I know it's cutting my head off, but I thought you'd want to see this more than anything. Now the the iris will be just fine, and hopefully maybe with a little more TLC that they will actually come up better next year. Now I know I used this, I reused this soil here, but I have my um, organic liquid fertilizer that I use will feed this just fine. Um, this wasn't that old. I think I had planted up that container last summer, so the soil's perfectly viable. So anyways. I'll work around the iris stems that are left. Now these I had potted up. I had got them in a six pack. Um, they were very root bound, so I just did a root prune, cut the roots off, sliced through them, um, and I hopefully they have spread out a little bit in root mass. Do I see any roots there? But I'm gonna just kind of work from here. I should have put the pot in there first, huh, of the of the Creeping Jenny. And also I love white. Um, I did not start my, um, not Lobelia. Oh, I have some white Lobelia. I could put the white Lobelia with this. Um, I was gonna say Alyssum. I love my tiny Tim Alyssum. I grow from seed. It's um, from Botanical Interests. And it just is such a pretty foil for um, plants like this. Now, this is a, not a very large container, and these wave petunias really fill in. 
So one or two will be plenty for this planter and then I'll have plenty to pop in other pots to create a color harmony through the pots on my deck. I have quite a few. I love the galvanized tubs. So anyways, let's see. I'm gonna pop this out of the container and see, it might be really stuck in there. I might have to go dig up something smaller. Yeah, maybe I'll go dig up something smaller. No, it's coming, coming out slowly but surely. I know I'm ripping it a little bit, but you need to, if you know creeping Jenny, it's gonna be fine. Okay, there we go. Got most of it out. I wanted to separate it anyways. So there we go. Got a little piece in there. All these little pieces here, they will root and take off. Okay, so let me divide this out. Yes, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now I'm gonna put some of that soil in here. I probably should dig a spot for this. And even if it is above the soil a little bit, in fact, I probably could put the soil I displace in there. Oh, got a little worm in there. Okay. Well, I don't need that much in there because I gotta get the plant down in there. All right, so here's this piece. I'm putting it down in there and I'll fill it up. Now, one thing nice about um, the terracotta pot is not only will it get water from the top, but it'll absorb water through the side. So even if you don't hit directly on the pot when you're watering the containers, it will absorb. So that's all good. That's why I love the por porosity of the terracotta pots. So there's that. Okay, now I'm gonna turn around and put a second petunia in over here. And I think I'm going to get some alyssum. I do love the alyssum. And I'm gonna put it along here. Um, and I'll put another of those Creeping Jennies over here too. Let me get, did I get that too? Okay, that is over there. It's just, it's already spreading so far that it feels like it's wanting to come over here. Now this is one that when I potted it up, I cut all the flowers and buds off because I wanted it to put the energy into roots. Um, and the others I left on so I, could, I knew what color it was. But there's another one. I'm just gonna put it down in here. And those two will be plenty to fill this. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have some alyssum in a container over there that came back by itself from last year. It reseeded in the pot. So I'm gonna go dig up, they're really tiny sprouts, but I'm gonna stick them in here and see if they take off. And if they do, great. If not, I'll pick up a six pack at the garden center. They're, it's pretty reasonable, it's like $3.99 or something like that at the garden center I go to. So let me go get that and I'll be right back. I'm gonna get real close in here. So here is the seedlings of the alyssum. Now there's quite a few. So I'm gonna spread these around that rim of this planter. Now I'm itching like the ants are crawling all over me. Okay, so I'm gonna just kind of divide it up very gently and place it down in there. Now I'll keep this container in the shade for a few days so it can acclimate after all this transplant business and let it just get rolling. Now I did like two or three of the alyssums together and right over here is where I'm gonna do another container, but I gotta go get another of the terracotta pots of the uh, Creeping Jenny so that it will be harmonious around and then I'll get some more of the alyssum for over there and then I will show you where I place it and what other Sorry, I'll show you where I place it and what else around it I want to change and get going. But that's pretty easy for a container. Um, the six pack of the wave petunias was six dollars. So that means they were what? Two dollars. Oh, one dollar a piece. So one dollar. So that's two dollars in there. This was free and this was free. So for two dollars and some soil, whatever soil you get, I got a planter that'll take me through the summer just beautifully. So let me get this that going and I'll be right back. 
So this is the spot on my back deck where I'm going to set it. And you can see my future projects. This daffodil container will go. Um, those I think I'll leave in there and I'll just take a smaller six pack or um, I have some of my purple denim um, wave petunias that are still in the smaller containers that I could just pop in there and trim back the flowers of the daffodil and be done with that. And I will add some more of the Alyssa. Mm. <clears throat> Excuse me to it. I'm going to pull you up closer and see. I'm going to zoom down there so you can see maybe the lissom. See here, right here. I have one underneath this flower and one there, one over there. I should say there's more than one in some of those spots, but uh, those will fill in with a beautiful white frothy fragrant flowers and be beautiful. I just set this here so you can see where it was at on my deck. I'm going to put you back up and show you where the door is. Forgive the mess because I'm still a work in progress out here. But so there you see the container and you see the sliding door and that's our table dining area in there. And we can see from here. Um, last year I had these containers, these two galvanized kit tubs filled with um, wave petunias. They did beautiful. The tulips that are in them are from last year and they just did not do well. So I need to dump those out. That's why I haven't uh, potted those up with anything yet. I may use these for my container vegetable garden this year. I'm not certain, but we're getting there. Too many projects, too little time, but it's all going to happen and be gorgeous. So that, my friends, is my quick and easy potting up project that cost me $2. So you never know what you can do, if, especially if you have some of those perennials like at the Creeping Jenny or I think that kind of could be bullies out in the garden. I also like to use Lamium. So, yes, Lamium. Do the same, keep it in a container so it doesn't take over the whole pot. Last year or the year before, I put it directly in the soil and it kind of took over. So lesson learned, but you can use them. And since it overwinters here well, I can use it over and over again. And I love that chartreuse color. Um, I also have my potato vines that I'm going to add to. Let me get it here. These are the ones I overwintered. This is a cutting from one I overwintered. It got a little dried out once, so that's why it's looking a little pitiful. Um, that's the thing that happens when I get too busy and I don't keep up with watering. So, okay, well, I got to clean up my mess and go on to my next project. I hope I will see you in your next video. And if you pick up, go to a local garden center. Those little six packs of annuals can go far, especially if you get like the uh, wave petunias, if you can find them in the little six packs. Perfect. I've seen them at Lowe's and Home Depot. They were in larger six packs and they were like $12. So that's about $2 per plant, which isn't bad. It isn't bad at all because the seeds are kind of expensive to even start them from seeds. So um, fortunately I have this one garden center close by and they do the smaller six packs. And since they fill in so fast um, and they have them for like $6. So it's really cost effective for me that sometimes I think, do I, should I even bother growing them from seed? Other than I love doing that in the winter. So it's just fun. So it's not always about the cost. It's sometimes just about the enjoyment. So I'll see you in my next video where we'll be planting something else. All right. See you later.